Oh, I just ate a lot of chocolate really fast. <laughs> This is the simplest chocolate mousse that you can make at home, and all it took was a brilliant chemist to figure out how to make it. That brilliant chemist is Hervé Thys. He is the inventor of the term molecular gastronomy. You've probably heard of it. This is just two ingredients, chocolate and water. That's, that's the whole recipe, basically. Like, I just told you what it is, but let me show you how to do it. So these, I'm just gonna rough chop. You could even just break them up with your hands. There is not technically any difference between semi-sweet, dark, and bittersweet chocolate when it comes to labels. There's no regulated standard for any of that. Every brand is different, but what you're looking for is a dark chocolate that you love the flavor of because there's gonna be not much else to hide behind. And we've found that a 70% chocolate works really great here. Oh. <laughs> I almost got it. This is the part that's gonna feel really wrong if you have ever made chocolate before or made pastries with chocolate. This is all going right here on top of the chocolate. So anytime you're melting chocolate, you've probably seen those instructions that are like, don't let the water touch the bowl. Don't let steam come up over the sides and creep into your chocolate because even a single drop of water when you're trying to get a nice melt on your chocolate could mess up the structure and make your chocolate seize and go grainy. But this, because it's a totally different proportion that Hervé's figured out, it's like exactly the right amount to melt together seamlessly and then as you're whisking, it lets this emulsification thing happen. And that means that the little beads of fat, uh, the fat and chocolate in this case, get suspended in the liquid. They don't look like different things anymore. They become one to our eyes. And they become thicker, they become creamy. And that's exactly what's gonna happen here. It's, it's just like a vinaigrette, a mayo. In those cases, when you're trying to emulsify oil and water, it really helps to have an emulsifier. So in vinaigrette, that can be mustard, in mayo, it can be the egg yolk. Those are things that help the oil and water come together. In this case, there's uh, lecithin. Lecithin? Lecithin. <laughs> is, this, is this the C before the TH? In this case, the emulsifier is the lecithin that's in the chocolate already that helps the water and the fat bind together. Okay, that's it. It's all evenly melted, and now it's time to whisk. You could just dunk the saucepan right in the ice bath, but this will help it go even faster by putting it in a cool bowl first. So what's happening here is as it's cooling down, I'm whisking in air bubbles just like you would do with whipping cream, and that's gonna form this stable mousse as the chocolate cools. So there are lots of points where you can stop, but I'm gonna stop here so it stays a little soft and luscious. and doesn't get too stiff. Yeah, that's gonna be good. When it looks like pudding, that's what I'm gonna say is the time that I like to stop. If you wait until it looks perfectly like mousse that you're expecting in here, by the time you get out here, it's probably gonna be kind of stiff and grainy. But the good thing about this recipe is how incredibly flexible it is. Everything in the recipe says there are three things that can go wrong. If it's too thin and runny, then you probably have not quite enough fat in the chocolate. Add a little more chocolate in, melt it, whisk it again, boom. If it's too fatty seeming, do that same thing, but add a little water. Or if it's just you think you've taken it too far, but it looked pretty perfect about 20 seconds ago, just remelt it and whisk again. He also says that this will be improved from the gastronomic perspective if you flavor the water with a little orange juice or cassis puree. This is the bare bones formula, chocolate plus water, but once you get the rhythm down, you can add stuff into the water, replace the water with other flavorful liquids, put booze in there, go crazy. I like it like this. And I also like to put a little whipped cream on top. Of course, this is the thing 
that takes the vegan chocolate mousse and makes it not vegan. But for me, that works out great. This was so much simpler to make than traditional chocolate mousses that have you whipping egg whites and whipping cream and fussy things. This is so easy and on top of that, because you don't have all of those extra ingredients getting in the way of the chocolate, it's just pure chocolate. So the better the chocolate you choose, the better your mousse is gonna be. This is really good. <laughs> For more genius recipes like this, crazy wonders of science, two ingredient magic tricks, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and check back every week. There will be more chocolate.